gluconeogenesis Gluconeogenesis is the formation of new glucose molecules in the body as opposed to glucose that is broken down from the long storage molecule glycogen. It takes place mostly in the liver, though it can also happen in smaller amounts in the kidney and small intestine. Gluconeogenesis is the opposite process of glycolysis, which is the breakdown of glucose molecules into their components. Function of Gluconeogenesis our bodies produce glucose to maintain healthy blood sugar levels. Glucose levels in the blood must be maintained because it is used by cells to make the energy molecule adenosine triphosphate, ATP. Gluconeogenesis occurs during times when a person has not eaten in a while, such as during a period of famine or starvation. Without food intake, blood sugar levels become low. During this time, the body does not have an excess of carbohydrates from food that it can break down into glucose, so it uses other molecules for the process of gluconeogenesis such as amino acids, lactate, pyruvate, and glycerol instead. Once glucose is produced through gluconeogenesis in the liver, it is then released into the bloodstream, where it can travel to cells of other parts of the body so that it may be used for energy. The process of gluconeogenesis is sometimes referred to endogenous glucose production, EGP, because it requires the input of energy. Since gluconeogenesis is the opposite of glycolysis, and glycolysis releases a lot of energy, it would be expected that gluconeogenesis would require the input of a lot of energy. However, gluconeogenesis occurs when the body is already low on energy so it requires workarounds in order to use less energy. Therefore, some steps of gluconeogenesis cannot be performed in a way that is simply the reverse of glycolysis. Instead, the cell has developed slightly different ways to perform the process, as can be seen in the gluconeogenesis pathway when it is compared to the glycolysis pathway. Although it may seem counterintuitive, that the gluconeogenesis uses energy when the body needs more energy, the process ultimately pays off when glucose enters cells and is used to create ATP. Glycogenolysis is another process that is used when glucose levels in the blood are low. During glycogenolysis, the storage molecule glycogen, which is made up of long chains of glucose, is broken down into glucose which then enters the blood. The main difference between glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis is that glycogenolysis involves the formation of glucose molecules from a glucose source, glycogen, while gluconeogenesis forms glucose from non-glucose sources, molecules that are not made up of glucose. Gluconeogenesis Pathway 1. Gluconeogenesis begins in either the mitochondria or cytoplasm of the liver or kidney. First. Two pyruvate molecules are carboxylated to form oxalocetate. One ATP energy molecule is needed for this. Two oxalocetate is reduced to malate by NAD so that it can be transported out of the mitochondria. Three malate is oxidized back to oxalocetate once it is out of the mitochondria. Four oxalocetate forms phosphenol pyruvate using the enzyme PPCK. 5. Phosphenol pyruvate is changed to fructose 1,6 biphosphate and then to fructose 6-phosphate. ATP is also used during this process, which is essentially glycolysis in reverse. 6. Fructose 6-phosphate becomes glucose 6-phosphate with the enzyme phosphoglucoisomerase. 7. Glucose is formed from glucose 6-phosphate in the cell's endoplasmic reticulum via the enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase. To form glucose, a phosphate group is removed, and glucose 6-phosphate and ATP becomes glucose and ADP. If this video was helpful for you, so please do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.